Hey everyone and welcome back to the Cheesy Sasquatch, continuing our on the road series of Dashing Dimes, doing short snippets, talking about sports headlines around the world, rumors, everything like that, in between DoorDash orders while I'm on the road here. So, uh, one of the trending things this week, or last past week or so, is the growing LIV, or Live Live, I've heard it pronounced different ways, golf tour competing with the PGA tour. They've been able to get a handful of decent, uh, decently known big name golfers to kind of abandon the PGA tour and switch over to that. Um, it's kind of getting the stigma of being more for the viewers, for the golfers, more fun, uh, not requiring these golfers to do 40 to 45 tournaments out of the year so basically only having five to seven um weeks off out of the 52 weeks out of the year uh during the pga tour is kind of how they do it right now so this competing tour is kind of swooping in and stealing some golfers some big name golfers from the pga tour obviously the pga tour isn't happy about it they're still trucking along though not super worried about obviously their uh, organization dying um, I guess my kind of take on it is it's nice to see a new organization kind of taking over and if the PGA Tour is kind of more um, to a T, very prof like professional, not as laid back, as fun for the golfers, making them dedicate 80-90% of their time throughout the year to golf. I can see how that can be overwhelming and they want to do time with their family time doing other things they don't really get that as much so um but obviously for the P pga tour obviously sympathize with the fact that hey we're getting golfers uh getting stolen and going to a competing league so obviously i see both sides of the coin but it's nice to see a, com a new organization rising up um kind of an i guess in a, in a different uh aspect Right now, NCAA football, in the next three to five years, the NCAA might have a competing league for collegiate athletes to uh, compete in instead of the NCAA. Um, that definitely seems, again, a few years out from that being a possibility, but there are rumors of that starting. So um, if an organization could kind of come along and do things better, that everybody still makes their money, everybody's happy, but they don't have to dedicate their lives to it. They're not seen as a pawn or um, not treated fairly. Obviously, that, that's a win-win for everybody. So uh, as we see more of those organizations pop up, whether it is in professional sports, collegiate sports, we'll kind of see how those turn out. But I think it's a good change for sports. I think it's it's a needed thing. I mean, we're in, the, in 2022 now. Um, these college kids especially deserve to kind of get compensated for the millions of dollars that they bring to these schools and to the, to the NCAA. So let me know what you guys think, again, about the whole uh, NIL stuff. Uh, now the Live Tour competing with the PGA Tour. If you guys think that the PGA is kind of should be the way to go and the Live Tour is kind of overstepping their boundaries or what you guys kind of think about the situation. I'm always interested to see your guys take on it as well so feel 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 free to drop in the comments again your guys take on the situation feel free to like the video check out all my other videos as well uh my dashing dime series as well as my takes i do from home which are typically a little longer videos subscribe to the channel so you guys don't miss out on any of my other content i appreciate you guys we'll see you next time